Mombasa County is one of the six counties located in the coastal region of Kenya, along the shoreline of the Indian Ocean. It borders Kilifi County to the north, the Indian Ocean to the east, and Kwale County to the south. According to the 2009 population census, Mombasa County had a population of about 939,370 people. The county which covers an area of approximate 229.7 km squared, which excludes a water mass of 65 km squared, is globally known for its rich cultural diversity which makes it a favorite destination for both local and international tourists. The Constitution of Kenya 2010 designated Mombasa as the first county among the 47 counties. It is now famously known as County 001. The beautiful county of Mombasa has over the years been an epitome of diversity and coexistence. A cosmopolitan melting pot that has one of the most amazing cultural and ethnic mix in the world. Mombasa County is one of the first and more progressive counties in Kenya to not only initiate the conversations around violent extremism but also develop an action plan whose goal is to prevent and counter violent extremism. In the year 2017, the Governor of Mombasa, the County Commissioner of Mombasa and the National Counter-Terrorism Center led efforts of Mombasa stakeholders which included the national and the county governments, private sector, civil society organizations, community-based organizations, faith-based organizations, international communities, academia, professionals, associations, and others in developing the Mombasa County Action Plan for preventing and countering violent extremism. It is formally known as MCAP on PCVE. The action plan was launched in May 2017 in a ceremony presided over by the National Counterterrorism Center Director Dr. Ambassador Kimani. The launch was attended by various dignitaries including the international communities. As the saying goes, tell me I will forget, show me and I will remember, but involve me and I will understand. Mombasa County CV Engagement Forum, led by the Governor of Mombasa and the County Commission, have chosen to involve the multi-sectoral department, all sectors brought together at an annual conference to ensure that evaluation of the implementation plan and also moving forward planning of a new implementation strategy is put in place. The PCV Engagement Forum, an executive committee in charge of the Mombasa County Action Plan that is co-chaired by the Governor and the County Commissioner was put in place. Three committees were formed that included the Implementation Committee, the Resource Mobilization Committee and the Monitoring and Evaluation Committee. These three committees worked hand in hand to ensure that the Mombasa County Implementation Plan for the year 2018 was fully into realization. The implementation of the 2018 plan was spearheaded the Mombasa CV Engagement Forum through partnership and close collaboration with the heads of the 11 pillars, which include education pillar, faith-based and ideological pillar, economic pillar, security pillar, ethnic and culture pillar, political pillar, psychosocial pillar, women pillar, media and online pillar, training and capacity building pillar, and legal and policy pillar. This important process of monitoring and evaluation, 
the Coast Interfaith Council of Clerics joins forces with the Manyata Youth Entertainment CBO through the initiative of Anika Community Media in drawing a map of understanding the milestones, challenges, and success stories gathered throughout the year 2018 of implementation. During our field visits, we meet with various success stories and milestones. In Likoni Sub County, we meet a group of young juvenile gang groups that we now call them former juvenile gang groups by the name Yangthan, transformed to Sashaman Youth Group. So we have young thugs here in, in Timbwani. So, um, Urumai la vijana na wasama wa hapa na pale ndani likoni yetu ambayo iliamsha ili, ili mambo mengi sana watu kuwana kuiba kurepu yani kila aina ya ya, ya vituko ambavyo havikubaliki kijamii an initiative supported by Kenya Red Cross Society through the Deputy County Commissioner Likoni and the Peace and Security uh, Committee chaired by one gentleman by the name Walter Kurtz. Uh, upon that, other stakeholders like NGOs reached us, individuals reached us. Na wakawa na tupatia mawaitha, mawaitha, mawaitha. They gave us uh, their ears, they gave to us. We gave our grievances. They had uh, among them is Kenya Red Cross using the, the local leaders in a, in a European program. They reached us. We reach out to other milestones, and this time round, we meet a group of energetic youths under the umbrella of the International Organization on Migration, IOM, that fully supported an initiative with a studio, a music studio, together with a community bakery. Waka tuita sisi vijana, kuwauliza shida eno nini, na munge taka nini, kusabu kuna ufadili ya metoka kutoka iyo US, anataka kufadili vijana, lakini paka mjieleze, ni nini ambaye mnyi mneza kufanya kusikie leo, ineza kukuza wewe. Shaleo. Sasa si tuka offer for studio manake kiangalia huku mtani wetu na vipadi kibao. We get a chance to speak to Mr. Evans Achoki, the county commissioner Mombasa, who also sits as a co-chair under the committee CV engagement forum. I want to acknowledge the good work that the national government uh, has done in terms of CVE in collaboration with the other stakeholders, specifically uh, the civil society and the county government of Mombasa and other stakeholders. I would say that if, if there is anything that uh, this document has done is to bring to one table uh, the civil societies, the county government and the national government. We are all speaking from the same script. All we are united in the fight against uh, violence extremism. And uh, that is the reason for Mombasa. Uh, let's sit together. Let us know what you are doing. And let us know what you are also doing in terms of CV. Let us uh, synergize. Uh, let us pull resources together. And uh, uh, what I'm seeing is amazing uh, in Mombasa. That in itself is a milestone that other counties should emulate. That civil societies are now talking with one voice, sharing resources, sharing experiences, you know, going out together for meetings, yeah, and all speaking with one voice yeah, when it comes to CDE. Yeah, that is really commendable. Under the office of His Excellency Governor Ali Hassan Joho, we meet a young energetic lady by the name Munira Hamisi who sits as a director of PCVE 
at the county government of Mombasa. The county action plan is basically a roadmap, a five-year roadmap that clearly uh, describes the role of every sector. And when I say every sector, it, I mean the private sector, the national government, the county government, the civil society, religious, religious, uh, religious based organizations, youth-led organizations, on how best can we come together and synergize our efforts in preventing and countering of violent extremism. The biggest achievement has been the coordination aspect. So right now we have a tripartite partnership and if you look at uh, the Mombasa County Action Plan, the theme was enhancing partnerships. Uh, in preventing violent extremism. So we've been able to form a tripartite partnership. And when I say tri tripartite, I mean the national government is on board through the county commissioner's office, the county government is on board through the governor's office and various departments. So the departments are Department of Education, Department of Youth, Gender and Sports, the Office of the County Attorney and the County Assembly, the civil society members uh, led by Haki Africa and other organizations, then uh, we have the community itself. So one of the biggest achievements is bringing these um, key stakeholders on board and we've been able to carry out various grassroots programs. Uh, we've had uh, community dialogue platforms through the entire sub-counties uh, trying to emphasize and create sensitization on what is CV and what is the role of the community itself in preventing and countering of violent extremism. And if you look at this year's um, CVE conference, we are uh, pushing the agenda of inclusivity. We are saying how, do, uh, how does the community play a role when it comes to CVE? How does the police come in? How does all the sectors of both the national government and the county government play a key role in preventing and countering of violent extremism? Through CICC, we are able to meet a representative from the Hindu community who gives an input and experience from their engagement with community work. I'm Himasha, I'm from Hindu Council, Hindu community, and uh, I'm working with uh, other temples and uh, the youth activity in the Hindu Council, and the ladies wing also. With CACC, I go for the meetings, and we do some grassroots work also, where they take me for like parenting sessions, I go because they feel that okay parenting is very important because the problem starts from very home level you know when the child is not satisfied or you don't see the father figure in the home you know so there where the problem starts so we have taken few issues to CICC and we are working on it with other ladies and men also so we meet we talk about issues we have people from different areas yeah as the CSC works and then everybody comes with their own uh, problem and issues and how to go about it and we discuss it there and sometimes we come to certain solutions these leaders uh, the main job they do is uh, to educate the sheikhs the, the imams and advise them uh, to be uh, I mean, to, to preach um, to the young children, the effect, the effect of uh, joining these uh, groups. We get an opportunity to speak to Mr. Hussein Hanid, the director of Haki Africa, who also sits and serves as a secretary to the CV Engagement Forum in Mombasa County. The role of the private sector is vital in the MCAP uh, process. Uh, because uh, we view the private sector not just as beneficiaries of the work that we are doing to counter violent extremism, but also an, a sector that can directly contribute to security within the county. I think the action plan, at most what it has been able to achieve, which was a very, very difficult uh, challenge, was you know, putting aside the differences that we've had. Initially, if you look at what Haki Africa was doing, we had a working partnership with the county government where we you know, did research and we identified the need, for example, to start sports and uh, you know, we've seen different uh, football grounds developed. Those were actually as a result of research that was jointly undertaken between the county government and, and Haki Africa. I think I would say all the pillars did a marvelous job because um, at least there were initiatives in each and every pillar and that is what we actually wanted. 
we saw uh, quite a number of pillars going over and beyond um, their cap capacities to try and achieve what was expected of them. Mombasa is currently uh, a best practice, not just for Kenya and Africa, but actually for the whole world. This is a county that has actually proven that it can actually bring all its stakeholders together. During our conversation, we were able to reach out to the CEO of the Kenya Coast Tourism Board, Mr. Julius Owino, who also represents the private sector in the PCV Engagement Forum. Kenya Coast Tourist Association is a regional uh, tourism and business stakeholders umbrella body, a private sector umbrella body for tourism and business stakeholders in the coast region. That means we cover the six counties. So the hotels, to operators, travel agents, some banks, airlines, all those and light businesses within the regions are our members. KCTA sits at the CV Engagement Forum uh, representing the private sector. Uh, you realize that uh, the issues of uh, violence, extremism are so uh, dear to us as uh, business stakeholders and we have to work together in, in collaboration so that we ensure that we counter uh, the issues. Every organization has been doing their things. But again, we have doing our individual activities not knowing that we are doing activities geared to CVE and we are not even talking about CVE. So with this, uh, we, people have been working in silos, huh? but this uh, CVE engagement has brought a very good opportunity for us to reason together collaborate and come up with a, a, a focused approach on countering violence extremism and also ensuring that we can share opportunities and successes that can help our people and grow the economy of this region. We are able to hear a success story from a young energetic artist who works part-time with Manyata Entertainment as a theater arts artist. Hapo awalianyuma kidogo kimazingira yangu ama ki kimazingira kwetu kidogo alikuwa utatanisha maana mama aliaga dunia na kana ajisimamilia mimi mwenyewe kila kitu sasa sikuweza na akili hiyo sababu pale nyumbani ninachoa sister yangu na kona watoto watano na mimi ndo nafanya ni shuliki au majukumu sasa nikonelea nini pita pita zangu nikasikia kuna kundi yani group ya Jita Manyata Entertainment CBO wakaweza kunichanganyua kidogo wakasema kijana kwa ni vipi shida iko wapi nikaelezea shida ni hivi na hivi wakasema kwamba basi wafaa ukae chini ufikirie nini basi kama vile vile nikasikiza yale maelezo nikajiuliza kwanza mimi mwenye shida iko wapi kwanza paka naelekea kupotea njia ama shida ni nini kwanza kijana mdogo yani ya nini nife mapema sasa onelea njiunge na Manyata Entertainment CBO kaingia pale kwa ofisi yao wakanipa ajira wakaona uwezo wangu si japo kusoma lakini wakaona ajira ipo hata kama ni ya drama ambayo itanifaa itanifaa sema kweli najisipoa sababu gani paka sena atienzangu morali hata wazazi wangu wenyewe yani na imani yani wafariki lakini pia wenyewe wajisikia wajisikia poa sababu wanaoni kwa na mwongozo mzuri na jichanganya na wenzangu na napendwa kama kawai si kama kitambo nyuma nikionekana tu ajikana ah wewe dogo bana si mtu mzuri mimi kitu ambacho nilizaambia hali sluani tujichanganyeni au sio tufanye kazi za maana najua ni ngumu kuacha lakini mwenye ukikaa ukifikiria angalia kule mbele Je, yeah, uko mbele nitapata nini? Well, we have seen it all. We have seen it all. We have experienced it all. It is very simple. If we get Mombasa right, then we get Kenya right. Nchi wetu wajibu wetu. Tujihusishe. 